This is a Gibson J200 Wildwood New Vintage guitar. This is offered like the other series in the Standard, the HG, and in, in the Exotic. These guitars will all have red spruce or Adirondack spruce tops, hide glued tops on the Standard, hide glue everywhere on the HG model, and on the Exotic the difference will be hand selected exotic back and sides material. Traditional wood for this guitar is both rosewood and in this case we're using Eastern Hard Rock Maple. This particular guitar happens to be really highly figured and, and quite attractive. Almost all of the classic J200s have a three-piece neck with a uh, rosewood, walnut, uh, rosewood or walnut stringer in the neck made out of two pieces of hard rock maple glued to that. These guitars are bound fretboards. They have the traditional crown or sunrise inlay. Very, very identifiable. The flowered pick guard, all traditional. The original guitar was built in 1936, 37. There's still some question in the uh, argument over the historic origin of this guitar and who the first guitar was built for. Kind of the uh, the largest legend is they've found some prototypes that precede the first guitar which has made any kind of splash and it was for the original rhinestone cowboy Ray Whitley who in 1938 brought it to the Madison Square Garden and showed that guitar off. The guitar has been kind of the signature of artists from every genre. I mean you have um, Everybody from Ray Whitley on, that was a uh, Western musician playing one. They may have graduated from a Super 400 to this guitar. Uh, you've got every rock and roll player that ever cut a record that you own or wish you still did playing one of these. Lots of uh, original cuts were done on J200s in studios that were just mic'd. I mean, the guitar does it all. You'll find that there is one that's perfect for you, and whether it's one that has rosewood back and sides or whether it's a full Eastern Hard Rock Maple, there will be one that is exactly the guitar that you want. Part of the power of this guitar is developed by the 25 and a half inch scale and a combination of the aged nut and bone saddle that we have. We are using on these um, a set of medium gauge strings, medium lights probably, uh, what most people will end up with, although we've got uh, some people that insist on, even with the slim neck, going up and gauge to uh, what I would say completely heavy, maybe uh, 58 to 62 gauge on the bass strings, and still the guitars hold together, they've got plenty of power, but they have the same amount of power for finger style when somebody's playing with a, a set of light gauge strings. Uh, they're incredibly articulate because of the maple. They've got a, a very warm and round bottom end. They're balanced really uh, cleanly up the fretboard. They've got good clear mids. Again, these are the guitars that are owned by the studios for people when they come in to cut sets. The guy may love his guitar, but the guy knows how to get the most out of the instrument that's in that studio. And so he puts that J200 in the guy's hand and allows him to play it on that cut. This is the pure DNA of music right here. This guitar has proven itself time and time again with each generation. Uh, we look forward to building one for you. Mm -hmm.